You're watching Eyewitness News at 6.30 with Colleen May, Mark Fister, and Chris Matthews. Good evening and thanks for joining us. Nevada is one of the worst states for fraud crimes because it's a tourist destination that runs on plastic. Today, tough laws against fraud crimes like identity theft go into effect in Florida and Colorado. But here in the Valley, some people are still falling victim to having their identity stolen. Eyewitness News reporter Janine Gill introduces us to one Valley woman whose identity was stolen when she was just a teenager. And these are my credit reports from Cox Cable and from other collection agencies from checks that were written in my name. Tiffany Malone finds herself in a mess of paperwork. She's just 21 years old, but feels part of her life is already ruined. I'll never be able to get anything, probably a house, a car. My credit's ruined. It all started when she went to the DMV when she was 17 to get an ID. Tiffany was told someone already had a driver's license with her name and social security number. Since then, I found out I have cable in my name. I've had phone in my name. I found out the person's wrote in checks in my name. Law enforcement says Nevada is one of the worst places for fraud because it's a tourist destination that runs on plastic. The woman who stole Tiffany's identity lives right here in Las Vegas, and she's used at least three different local addresses. But collection agencies tell Tiffany they can't give her the latest address because she's not entitled to that information. DMV spokesman Kevin Malone is not sure what happened in this case. He says to get a driver's license or an ID, you have to show proof of name, date of birth, and a social security number. Back then, the DMV did everything we could for her. We canceled whatever other driver's license might have been out there, and we issued her an ID card in her own name. So whatever other license is out there would be expired by now. The DMV can't pull up a picture of the thief because photos aren't kept on file. Metro police say even if they had one, photos aren't very helpful you know without names. It is a big warning because if someone can go get an ID in my name, they can get it in anyone's name. Police say identity theft is a growing crime in the Valley, and Tiffany's case is just one in a pile of hundreds. Janine Gill, Eyewitness News. Now here are some tips to help protect you. Before you give out your personal information, find out how it will be used and if it will be shared. Pay attention to bill cycles, follow up with creditors if bills don't arrive on time, and give out your Social Security card only when necessary. Police are investigating the murder of a Valley woman who was found stabbed to death in her apartment. Metro police were responding to a call about a disturbance on North 6th Street when they arrived at the apartment. They found the 49-year-old woman's body. Witnesses say that they saw a man leaving the room. He's described as a black man, 5'10 to 6 feet tall, early to his mid-30s with black short curls. He was wearing an L.A. Lakers jersey and purple shorts. Witnesses say that he had one hand wrapped in a white towel. If you have any information, you can call Secret Witness. That number is 385-5555. A fiery accident and explosion shut down part of U.S. 95 for a few hours overnight. It happened on U.S. 95 at the Spaghetti Bowl. An ambulance crashed into two cars, and one of those cars was towing a trailer full of fireworks. Police say the ambulance was responding to an emergency call when that accident happened. All three vehicles were destroyed in the explosion. No one was killed, but two of the passengers received minor injuries. NHP is investigating. Well, just in time for this 4th of July, gas prices are going down once again. Energy Secretary Spencer Abraham says that new numbers on gasoline prices are set to be released this week. He says that the data will show that prices have dropped nearly five cents per gallon nationwide. I think what you're going to see is that the prices are down at least another five cents from one week ago, 17 cents or more lower than they were during their, their, their peak back in May and probably about 10 cents lower per gallon than they were a year ago at this time. And we as, as an administration are very happy to see that, those developments. According to AAA, as of Friday, the average price for a gallon of gas here in Nevada is $1.71. In Las Vegas, the average is just one cent below that. And some relief at the gas pump is good news for holiday travelers. An estimated 264,000 Nevadans say they will travel at least 50 miles or more from home for 4th of July celebrations. Roadways and our airport is expected to be busy over the next week. Eyewitness News is live. Yetta Gibson joins us from McCarran International with more. Yetta. Colin, we can expect a good mix of partiers and vacationers in town this week for July 4th celebrations. AAA says the traffic in and out of the McCarran Airport and the traffic up and down the Las Vegas streets are expected to get thicker as we get closer to July 4th and the weekend. 
It's inevitable thousands swamp to Las Vegas every year on July 4th. And because it's the city that never sleeps, I guess, you know, big party. So AAA says you may as well expect plenty of traffic on the streets pretty much for the rest of the week. Uh, because of 4th of July being on a Wednesday, the travel date should be spread out over eight days rather than, than just a three-day weekend. So if you're in town for Independence Day and plan to hit the hot spots, especially near the Strip, AAA warns you. To stay away from the Strip, you know, if, if you don't need to go that way, uh, you, you know, plan your destination so that everything you're hitting is along the way and it's, it's one trip out and then one trip back rather than short little stops here and, here and there. But of course, if you've got a cruise, you've got a cruise. Oh, I think we're going to go limos the whole way. There's five of us, you know, and it seems like the fun way to go. And Colleen, for those folks who are planning to actually leave Las Vegas for the 4th of July, AAA says it is important to get to the airport if you're traveling by plane at least an hour or so before your flight leaves. And if you plan to hit the streets and it's going to take you more than an hour to get there, they suggest stopping about every 100 miles or so just to take a break and to stretch your legs. And of course, they also suggest taking with you plenty of water. Yetta Gibson, Eyewitness News Live. All good advice. Thanks, Yetta. After more than 35 years, a Clark County firefighter is hanging up his uniform for good. Battalion Chief Ralph Dinsman retired today, and his colleagues threw him a party to mark the occasion. Dinsman was the voice of the fire department during the MGM Grand and Las Vegas Hilton fires. He also helped develop some of the fire safety procedures that are now in place. It's different than, you know, any other job. It's uh, very much a camaraderie of people, and I'm really going to miss it. It's like leaving your family, you know, so... But I've enjoyed coming to work every day, and uh, I love this job. And I would say to anybody, this is the, this is the career to have. Dinsman plans to retire in Arizona. Let's head to the weather center and check in with Mark Fister. And, you know, it must be Mur Murphy's Law. Of all days for my air conditioner in my car to go on the fritz. Did it go on the fritz today? I came to work Working hot. fine? No, I came to work hot today because oh, it went on the really? fritz on the way to work. Yeah. It was working yesterday. It wasn't working today. It's See, what happens sad. sometimes with the air conditioning, you know, it gets right below a certain level. Yeah, in the compressor with the uh, fluid in there, or the, the Freon of coolant, whatever they call it. And when that happens, boom, it just doesn't work at all. One of the things people forget to do when it comes to their air conditioning in the car is run it during the wintertime when you don't need it. That helps keep the system charged. But, Colleen, you're going to be in line tomorrow at the dealership trying to get that car fixed, and it's going to be another scorcher for the next couple of days. Plus, we're going to throw on that a little humidity. Eee make it feel hotter. Take a look at what we've got for you now. 112 up in North Buffalo, 110 out in Summerlin, 116 at Eastern, 117 at East Cary, 108 down on the south side of the valley. These are current temperatures right now, not the highs for the day. 112 at Mesquite, 112 at Overton, 82 up on the mountain, 109, <clears throat> excuse me, out at the lake, 116 this hour in Boulder City. All right, what's in store for us over the next couple of days? More heat, a little humidity, Maybe a shower. We'll talk about that coming up in just a couple of minutes. And hopefully Colleen gets her air conditioner fixed. Well, yeah, that's definitely in store for us. Thanks, Mark. We'll see you in a few minutes. Well, you can only find it here in Las Vegas. Up next, it's an act that will have you flying high. It's for the whole family. And here's the most important thing. It's free. We'll show you where it's at coming up. Plus, your paycheck may be getting a little bit bigger thanks to a new plan that's going into effect. And talks begin to bring two boxers right here to the Valley. Dave McCann has the story coming up in sports. You're watching Eyewitness News at 6.30 with Colleen May, Mark Fister, and Chris Matthews. Celebrations Bridal. Not just creating a bride, creating an image. This 4th of July holiday at Desert, we're giving you freedom from payments. Desert Honda announces no payments till fall on every new Honda. Buy or lease Civics or Accords, CRVs or Odysseys. Make no payments till fall. Feel the freedom at Desert Honda. Getting a car with no payments? Is this a great country or what? Price service selection at Desert Honda? It's guaranteed. At Channel 8, we're committed to the weather. We think about it 24 hours a day because we know you're thinking about it as you get ready for your day. That's why we created Neighborhood Weather. With over 30 weather stations in place around Southern Nevada, Neighborhood Weather gives you 24-hour internet access to the most current conditions in your area. And we can keep you updated up to the minute during every newscast. Neighborhood Weather, every day on Channel 8 Eyewitness News, every minute on KLAS-TV.com. This 4th of July, Channel 8 and Light 100.5 bring back a Las Vegas tradition. Fireworks at Sam Boyd Stadium. 
Admission and parking is absolutely free. The fun begins at 5 with family entertainment throughout the evening. Come early and bring along some cash for food and drinks. But don't be late. The fireworks begin at 9 o'clock sharp. Light up the 4th of July night at Sam Boyd Stadium. Brought to you by Findlay Toyota, Station Casinos, Light 100.5, and Channel 8. Hi, I'm John Elway, and I've got what Las Vegas needs. A sure thing. I'm teaming up with the Desert Auto Group to bring you guaranteed low prices. The Desert Auto Group sells more cars and trucks in Las Vegas than anyone else. So you get volume low prices and a low price guarantee in riding. So why gamble? At least when you're buying a car or truck. Price service selection at Desert, it's guaranteed. See us in 11 locations or at AutoNation.com. Summertime for most of us here in Las Vegas means entertaining vacationing friends and family, and many of them have kids, but don't think that you have to send those kids to the arcade if you plan to stroll down the strip. Sherry Swensk introduces us to an act that's flying high at the Tropicana, and it's only in Las Vegas. He's beating you up. Beating you up. You scared? Yeah, you should be. Joe Crathwall has birds at his beck and call. Old. How about a hand for Rosie? Crathwall is known as the Birdman of Las Vegas. He and his troupe of feathered performers appear three times a day at the Tropicana. What kind of bird are you? <coughs> Cockatoo, that's right. Okay, we Hobie all... hails from Hawaii. <coughs> Earth to Lolita, hello. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Then there's Lolita and Chester, Amazon parrots from Central America. This is his version of a valley girl. Oh, my God! There you go, good one. Rosie, the rose-breasted cockatoo from Australia. Hold on, Tiki. Hold on tight. Don't and Tiki, a very expensive and rare hyacinth macaw. It's just really crazy stuff. I mean, it's just funny. And each one is, is just different. And it's like having, you know, a thousand kids. Let's go a little bit higher and a little bit higher. Now, actually, this is about as high as we can go, so we'll keep Knowing doing how to get the stars to perform on cue makes Joe worth his weight in birdseed. It takes the ability to explain to them that they have a simple job to do in order to get their food and safety and shelter and security, same things everyone looks for. Joe enjoys entertaining the audience with his clever cockatoos and his colorful macaws like Boomer here, but he really works to bring a bigger message to the audience with a little gal he named Vicky. Right, Boomer? She weighs 30 pounds and has a wingspan of almost 10 feet. Please say hi to little tiny baby Vicky. Give her a big hand, everyone. Joe has four of these rare endangered Andean condors. He's trying to breed the Andeans and release them back to their real home. I said, you know, if this bird was so difficult for me to obtain and they're still disappearing from the wild, then I need to do something to give back to his family, so to say. Joe's family of nearly 2,000 abandoned, rare, and hard-to-manage birds is quite a handful. His hard-working show birds keep the nest feathered for their less fortunate friends at home. Say it. Bye. 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 Big hand for them, ladies and gentlemen, Chester and Lolita. So cute. Joe also trains and leases out lions, tigers, and snakes to other shows and parties. If you'd like to check Joe out, you can see him at the Tropicana. He performs at 11 a.m., 12 30 and 2 that's 11 12 30 and 2 every day but thursday and of course it is free well the heat is here and it looks like it's here to stay at least for a while you're looking at a live picture from our eyewitness news camera top of the rio mark fister's coming up he'll let us know just how hot is hot and what's in store for the fourth of july plus more money for millions of americans we'll show you next hi i'm john elway and i've got what las vegas needs a sure thing I'm teaming up with the Desert Auto Group to bring you guaranteed low prices. The Desert Auto Group sells more cars and trucks in Las Vegas than anyone else. So you get volume low prices and a low price guarantee in riding. So why gamble? At least when you're buying a car or truck. Price service selection at Desert, it's guaranteed. See us in 11 locations or at AutoNation.com.
impact of Inside Edition. More than investigations. More than moments. It's standout storytelling. Inside Edition, the power of a great story. It's all in the way it's told. Beginning today, 55 million Americans will see their paychecks get a little bigger. That's thanks to the recent tax cut bill. The 10-year, $1.35 trillion tax relief package reduces the four highest income tax rates by one percentage point. Most middle and upper income taxpayers will see a difference of a few dollars a week. As for those tax rebate checks that the president and we've been talking about, they'll be in the mail beginning next month. Checks in the mail. I'll believe it when it shows up. Yeah, it depends on, I think, the last two digits of your Social Security. Oh, really? Is when it gets sent. Oh, okay, good. Looking for more information. To, looking forward to that. I'll be standing at the mailbox next month going, come, come, want the money, want the money. Hot one today. Yesterday's high was 110. You want to guess what it got up to today? I'm guessing... My car said 111, 112. Okay, which one are you going with? Can I go with both? No, sorry. Pick I'll go one. with uh, 112. 112, you'll go at 112. Ladies and gentlemen, Colleen May will go with 112. Mark that down on your little notepads there, and we'll see where uh, if Colleen got close and if she wins the showcase showdown. We're looking at high pressure over the western half of the United States. That is going to keep us hot over the next couple of days. But that same high pressure system will help bring in some moisture, which will increase our humidity levels and our chance of showers over the next couple of days. 116 the high today at Mesquite, 121 out at the lake, 124 at Laughlin. Ooh, wow. 109 out at Red Rock here in town, 115 at West Charleston, 118 North Las Vegas, 121 at East Cary, 121 at East Fleming. It was a scorcher in the valley today. We're sitting now at 110. 15% humidity, so that's a little bit high. We'd rather see this in the single digits. M wouldn't make that 110 so bad, but at 15%, ugh, makes it kind of sticky out there. Colleen said 112. Was Colleen right? Colleen is always right. 112 was the high temperature today. 105, the normal, 116, the record back in 1972. Here's the high pressure. Let's get a little bit closer in here, and we can see what it's doing. As this high pressure kind of swings around, it taps into some moisture that's off to the east of us, and that moisture will be wrapped up in the form of humidity, partly cloudy skies, and even a chance of some showers and thunderstorm activity in the afternoon over the next five to seven days. So it'll be muggy, partly cloudy, and a chance of some showers. 98 now at Salt Lake, 89 at Denver, a 111 in Phoenix, 81 at the Canyon, 70 in Los Angeles, 102 in Fresno, a scorcher tomorrow again. 109 here, 113 at Phoenix, 85 in LA, 105 at Fresno. Fly through forecast for tonight. Partly cloudy skies will hold in that heat that we had today. Winds will be light, so it won't cool us off much. 55 on the mountains, 76 at Pahrump, and 85 here in town. Out at the lake, cool off to about 100, uh, actually 84. 75 at Overton, <clears throat> and 84 at Laughlin. By tomorrow, light winds. Warm, muggy, chance of showers, maybe even a thunderstorm, slight chance in the afternoon. 116 at Laughlin, 115 at the lake, 114 here at Overton. We'll see a slight chance of showers here in the valley also. It'll be scattered, maybe a thunderstorm, most likely in the mountains. 85 up on the mountain, 105 over the hump. And that chance of afternoon scattered showers and thunderstorms and high humidity continues through the entire week. High temperatures start at 109, work their way down to 102 by Friday, back up in the 103, 104 range next Saturday and Sunday. The fourth, 106 for a high, partly cloudy skies, little muggy, chance of some afternoon scattered showers. Okay, thanks, Mark. Davis here with sports, talking a little bit about a big fight that's in the works. It is indeed in the works. A big one, a major heavyweight championship could be coming to Mandalay Bay. Some details on that coming up. Las Vegas golfer Jim Colbert delivers the shot of the day. But could he deliver a victory to go with it? And pro scouts are already drooling over UNLV junior quarterback Jason Thomas. Will it mean an early departure? Sports is next here on Channel 8. Hi, Roy Shelton inviting you in for our 4th of July sale going on right now. Just wait till you see all the carpet, hardwood, vinyl, and laminates. Thousands of choices. If it's carpet, ceramic, wood, laminates, or draperies, nobody can beat cloud during our 4th of July sale. I love a good value. Who doesn't? I also like brand name furniture. We looked at Thomasville, Drexel Heritage, and Century, but they're just too expensive. We found exactly what we wanted from other name brand manufacturers at Garrett's Furniture. Garrett's made our furniture shopping easy.
Wouldn't it be great to get more without spending more? That's just what you'll get in the 2001 Chevy Malibu. It comes equipped with a wide array of standard features, including V6, automatic, ABS, air, and power door locks, all for less than Camry LE V6 and Accord LX V6. Now get 0% APR with $24.96 in average finance savings, or get $1,500 cash back on Malibu, an offer that's bound to get great reviews. Malibu, at your Chevy dealer, we'll be there. Eyewitness News Now, the news you want, delivered directly to you. First, fast, customized. Sign up today for all your favorite Eyewitness News features, including my 8 Online. Eyewitness News Now, only on KLASTV.com. We have reminders for just about everything. Could you get through the day without a sticky note? Hi, I'm Paula Francis, talking about the most important reminder of all, your monthly breast self-exam. Enlist a friend or a relative, and when the Buddy Check 8 sticker comes up on your calendar, give your buddy a call and remind each other. Our Buddy Check 8 kits are free. Just call the Susan G. Komen Foundation at 82-CHECK. It's worth remembering. Hi, Roy Shelton inviting you in for our 4th of July sale going on right now. Just wait till you see all the carpet, hardwood, vinyl, and laminates. Thousands of choices. If it's carpet, ceramic, wood, laminates, or draperies, nobody can beat cloud during our 4th of July sale. It's been a pretty good week for Las Vegas. Jim Colbert, who went to bed last night leading the U.S. Senior Open by a shot. His chances at victory get a pretty good boost here from the bunker on the 15th hole for birdie. Colbert right there. Big putt for Bruce Fleischer. This is 18. It's a par is all. He's tied with five others at this point, but all five fall away down the stretch, including Jack Nicholas and Colbert. Jim needs a par on the 18th to force a playoff, but after the shot in the crowd, he flies the chip over the green. Tough one. Fleischer breathes a sigh of relief, and the Las Vegas Senior Classic champ wins the Senior U.S. Open. It's a nice and humid day. Look at that humidity back east in the Greater Hartford Open. Tim Heron, the humidity got the best of Big Tim, and his putter paid the price. Phil Mickelson with a great day. It's like breaking a bat, kind yeah. of only slower. Mickelson wins the tournament by one shot, his 19th career victory. The Colorado Avalanche won the Stanley Cup this year. Now ownership paying the price for it. Today, the Avs signed star player Joe Sackick to a five-year deal worth $47 million. They also signed Rob Blake to a five-year deal worth 45 million that shores up the offense then they went and signed goalie Patrick Waugh to a three-year deal worth about 26 million added up it's 118 million dollars for three players that is a lot of cash but it's still over a hundred million less than what the Texas Rangers paid for Alex Rodriguez hmm. a New York judge's order may mean good news for Las Vegas the judge ruled that Asim Rachman must give Lennox Lewis a rematch boxing promoter Don King and Mandalay Bay are in discussions to bring that rematch to Southern Nevada on October 6th King is out seeking respect for his new client they say Lennox Lewis is like he's to treat him like he's still the champion and Rachman the man who knocked him out you know, they don't seem to want to recognize that he knocked him out. It wasn't controversial. You know what I mean? It wasn't nothing that was uh, any kind of way questionable. I mean, he bounced a man off the floor and the man weighed 260 pounds. You know what I mean? So I just don't understand that. You know what I mean? The way they try to treat Rockman, But Rockman is the champion of the world for the WBC, the IBO, and the IBF. And so... I don't know whether they want to recognize it or not, but Rockman is the champion. But you can't make winning losing, and you can't make losing losing. It already is. Speaking of winning and losing, the Dodgers sweep the Padres. Arizona over Colorado in 13 innings. The Cubs win, so do the Astros. Philadelphia and Montreal get victories. Barry Bonds, three walks and a double. San Francisco, five to four over St. Louis. American League winners, Yankees and Red Sox, the Twins and the Royals. And Baltimore beat the White Sox 11 to 3. UNLV quarterback Jason Thomas is on track to finish school as the most heralded football player ever to wear the scarlet and gray. He could even be the number one draft pick, which is unheard of for a rebel football player. Sporting News projects you to be the sixth pick in the first round of next year's NFL draft, which would come at the end of your junior season. Is that going to be a tough decision on whether to go or to come back for your senior year? I mean, right now, it's a no-brainer. I'm not leaving, you know. But, I mean, you know, you never know, 
you know, what plan God has for me. So I'm just gonna go play through the season and, you know, work hard. And like I, you know, I told my mother I wanted to stay. I told Coach Robinson I wanted to stay. But you never know. But, you know, right now I want to stay and, you know, I don't have any thoughts of leaving. Now, if Coach Robinson suggests that it might be in your best interest right. to, uh, to go, is that enough? Well, it's going to be a very interesting year for Thomas and for the Rebels. John Robinson believes if Jason can stay healthy, he'll conquer the world. Don't miss my exclusive interview with Jason Thomas coming up tonight on Eyewitness News at 11. You know, it's July 1st, which means college football starts next month. That's not very far off. Right. Yeah. Thanks, Dave. You're welcome. Well, if you have a giant appetite, we have something to match it. Here it is. We'll show you where it's at coming up next. summer event. The best time of the year to drive a new 2001 DeVille. Call for important lease details. Don't wait. It's Walker's 4th of July holiday blast with explosive savings in every department plus one year free financing. It's your chance to take advantage of the absolute lowest prices ever on living rooms, bedrooms, dining rooms, everything for your home. Plus one year free financing. Join us in the festivities as we declare independence from high prices. Enjoy free hot dogs, free sodas, and savings galore. Come down to Walker today during our 4th of July holiday blast. Exclusive savings, one year free financing. Hurry, don't miss it. Did you know? Did you know that some scientists from Nevada are coming up with the newest ways to study air pollution? And they're using them in Las Vegas before anywhere else in the world? It helps me breathe easier just thinking about it. Nevada science is the first priority for the Desert Research Institute. At DRI, tomorrow started yesterday. Thank you, DRI. Up tonight on Eyewitness News Live at 11, jury selection begins tomorrow for the woman accused of killing her mother and keeping her remains in a local storage facility. We'll have a preview. And it's time to get ready for the 4th of July, and for many that means going on vacation for the holiday. Fireworks, they're part of your 4th of July celebration. We'll have some safety tips to keep you and your family safe. Of course, we'll also tell you where you can check out some of the hottest places to check the festivities here in the Valley. And finally tonight, folks visiting Chicago sampled a giant dessert at the food festival. A 500-pound cheesecake was created by Eli's Cheesecake to celebrate its 21st birthday. The tasty treat featured supersized cherries and 300 pounds of cream cheese. It also took, by the way, 100 pounds of sugar and 20 dozen eggs to make. After the ceremony, the cake was served to everybody at the festival. Hopefully that's not one piece right there. That it looks cutting. like one piece. Hopefully it is. <laughs> that's it for us. 60 Minutes is coming up next. We'll see you back here tonight, live at 11. Bye-bye. Closed captioning of this newscast is brought to you by Summerlin Hospital Medical Center, a member of the Valley Health System.